There are high hopes for détente at a summit in Paris as the leaders of France and Britain look to set aside years of bickering over Brexit and immigration. Emmanuel Macron welcomed Rishi Sunak at the Elysee Palace ahead of the first Anglo-French summit in five years. And the president and prime minister go into this summit having spoken about resetting relations, which have frayed since Britain voted to leave the European Union back in 2016. The war in Ukraine has emerged as a major unifying factor. So too, the desire to find a solution to cross-channel illegal migration. And beyond Europe, a shared ambition to deepen security partnerships in the Asia-Pacific. For more, Ross Cullen joins us. He's live in Paris. Ross, what are some of the major outcomes the two leaders are expecting from this summit? Yeah, we, uh, you can see some of the movements behind me, some of the ministers uh, and uh, the, uh, the assistants just coming out. We know that the two men have spoken this morning, Rishi Sunak and Emmanuel Macron, having talks for about uh, an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, certainly, uh, there are some tensions between the two countries, but they were not present when we, we saw the arrival of the prime minister. Warm handshakes, lots of backslaps, smiles for the camera. The two men certainly putting on a, a show of amicability, uh, but they will have had to discuss that illegal uh, immigration proposals, that proposed legislation from uh, Britain. We know that the French interior minister has said that France needs to examine that text carefully to make sure that there are no negative impacts on the bilateral relationship. The EU's Home Affairs Commissioner, Ilva Johansson, does actually think that it violates international law. And uh, the uh, British interior minister, Suella Braverman, here in Paris as well to try to uh, explain and uh, interpret the, the, the law to make it clear to uh, the French side that um, this is something that they can work together on. Uh, certainly, if they're looking for an outcome of the talks, for the UK, it seems it might well be prepared to funnel more cash, hundreds of millions of dollars to Paris in return for Paris stepping up the police patrols and police presence on the beaches of northern France to try to stop those uh, boats that are headed for uh, the United Kingdom. We know that Rishi Sunak has uh, got this new slogan to, quote, stop the boats. So illegal immigration would have been one of those top topics for the two men to discuss in their talks a little bit earlier. We know that what is coming up next is going to be a working uh, lunch uh, but with all the uh, different ministers from both the French and the British sides. Ross, these two leaders clearly get on, at least in front of the cameras, but Mr Sunak is also going to attend a, the, an AUKUS meeting in the United States next week. Now, that AUKUS pact, it's been a source of tension with France. Could this have any impact, perhaps, on efforts to reset ties between London and Paris? Oh, yeah. When it were the AUKUS crisis was certainly uh, a real nadir in relations uh, between France and the UK and France and uh, the United States, of course, with Australia recalling its ambassador to Canberra. France also recalled its ambassador to, to Washington, D.C. It really was furious when Australia cancelled that submarine contract with France and instead signed a deal with the UK and the US and those three countries. We're going to see the Australian Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, along with Joe Biden and Rishi Sunak in the United States uh, on Monday. That will, of course, uh, be, be uh, uh, an issue that Mr. Sunak will want to reassure uh, Mr. Macron that the relationship is stronger and has survived uh, that problem and has actually overcome it uh, to be stronger and actually have a better relationship after the AUKUS crisis than France and Britain had before the crisis. We also know that they do clearly get on. Liz Truss, the former British Prime Minister, described Emmanuel Macron as if she said she was unsure if he was a friend or a foe. Uh, so there has been this reset in relations between London and Paris to try to reassure both sides. They are close allies. Rishi Sunak saying this morning uh, that we are great friends. Uh, so that we do know there is this amicability. We do know there are tensions, though. Mr Sunak's next trip, as you pointed out, after uh, coming to France, uh, will be to the United States to attend that AUKUS uh, summit. So there is a lot of reassurance going on, but France will want clarifications over the UK's new proposed legislation on illegal immigration in particular. All right, Ross, thank you for that update. Ross Cullen there reporting live for us from Paris.